Welcome back guys to Can You Beat Factorio with No Coal? This is episode 3 with me, Massive Dynamic. Now in our last episode, we got steel online. Well, mostly online. We seem to have run out of power poles here. And I think that if we throw these in and maybe a few inserters, we should have some steel come online. Do we have inserters? Yes. Okay. Get those in there. And then we'll be ready to work toward military science. That should be our next goal, I think. And we'll just take a quick look at the map and make sure that we are in a place where we can safely advance toward military science. What is going on right here? Why are these red inserters? Must have had a small brain injury going on there or something i don't know why i would have put red inserters there that is strange hold on hold on hold on iron 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 yeah these are messed up here this should not be iron and this one this one's okay yeah those inserters messed us up there okay but we'll fix it right now with these two inserters here Stop making iron no, that's making steel. Okay, good. Steel and we... Oh, we need two more. Do I have... Yes. Four more inserters here. Make sure this is fired up properly before we move on, since there was a little bit of a mistake going on there. Yeah, okay. All right, we are good. Yeah, we're in good shape now. Okay, that is great. And yeah, everything looks like it's working according to plan here. All right, so let's take a look around at what we've got going on. And technology wise, let's see, our steel is there. Okay, so we can bring, yeah, start making preparations here for um, military science. And what do we need here? We need um, this, whatever this is. This is walls, okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we can make military science, so let's go ahead and get that started. We have coal, steel, copper, walls, and iron. Yeah, we have everything we need for military science. Let's drop a couple more inserters. Over. Oh, okay, we have to make a few more. Get this thing fired up. This should be cable. And we'll get a couple more of these on there. And oh, we ran out again. All right, let's uh, go ahead and make a bunch of stuff that we're going to need. Make sure we have everything we need here so that we don't um, waste our time. All right, that. And so those... Where are these going? Okay, they need to go this way. Let's take this over here and there. Okay, that should... All right, once this gets cranked up... Okay, we just need one more red inserter right here. There, and that will get... That should be enough materials to keep our inserter machine working, which will get our green, green science... Up to speed, okay, and that, yeah, that is better. All right, very good. Okay, now, let's see what we've got here. So we have to take, and I don't wanna do a lot of landfill here. I think I can make a turn here and kind of wiggle our belts up this way so that we can make our military science up there and then bring, um, we'll bring our military science back in this way, I think, like this. We'll go ahead and, all right, like I said, we're gonna prepare the way here. Let me grab a lot more iron for my inventory. And we'll just clean these belts off, that's fine, because we need this stuff. They rely on us as much as we rely on them. And that's a weird thing to say. Uh, when you're talking about inanimate objects, but it is true. Okay, now, 
Uh, we also need more belts. Let's see. I think... Are we making belts somewhere? I think we are. Also, it looks like our tech tree is caught up to us. Let's get... Um, let's prioritize... Let's see. This would help us. Okay, we'll do that. This would help us. Uh, circuit network is not critical right now. Gates, eh, not really necessary. We'll get some engines because we definitely want to get um, flamethrowers out there. Electric energy distribution, sure, why not? We need red belts to get trains, and trains may be a requirement for moving around this map, but let's concentrate on the military stuff for now. Okay, that I think that's a pretty good set of... Um, of goals there. Now, the question I have to ask myself is, did I start research on things that require gray science that we have not built yet? And the answer is probably yes. I think I probably did. Here's a little piece of the rocket that we don't need anymore. All right, now, do we have... Yeah, we need a lot more of those. Okay, so that is kind of a less of a priority than getting this science built so let's see if we can't make this work so if we go this way and we turn here i just want to make sure that we have enough room to make oops make the turn that we want to make here this goes this way there and there okay that yep that's good and then we want to yeah we will have to rebuild our science labs eventually so that's really not a concern let's go we'll leave ourselves a little bit of room here pass a few things between there like that not, not that one and there okay that's good get these going and then we need a little bit we need to it'd be nice to go yeah, let's jump across this little puddle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Like that. Okay, and then this will go sort of. Let's see, how far can we go? Let's go like right to here. Let's go right to the edge of this pond. Like right, right there. Okay, there we go. Now we have this, all this room up here to work with building our next science pack and also a little bit of a hardware store probably okay and then should we pay attention to the map very much probably we said we would but are we not yet so far so good we do have some contact going over there but we'll keep an eye on that okay let's uh let's continue all right so wrong thing we have undergrounds, yes. Okay, we should have everything we need. I think we'll make a few more of these just in case. We have power poles. Yeah, I think we're okay. All right, let's get this thing going. Bring this up here, and now we can start to lay out. Oh, I did not make the assembly machines that we need. Let's make a few of them. Okay, and then we can always grab more iron off the belt. Oops. Okay, here we go. All right, now let's get... Do we have enough room to... Let's kind of plan our science. Oh wait, what did I do? Okay, I built level two assembly machines. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's build a few more. We're gonna need a few more of those. I'm gonna have to take this coal and a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need just because it's all together. All right, so let's plan the way this is gonna work out here. Well, I have to wait till we build all that stuff. Um, but we can plan it via our ghosting it in, right? Okay, so if we, if we say that we're gonna have our gray science end up Right here, maybe. Uh, let's see. We need our three items. So there is 
there are the walls right there. So we could technically get the walls here. Let's yeah, let's uh, uh let's do it right here. This will be our gray science. So one, two. We'll do four gray science also. We'll just stick with that for now. Four gray science. Um so that means that we can actually take the walls. Let's do a little switcheroo here. And instead of running the walls up there, we'll bring them in right here. Like this. So we can um, do a little bit of a jump here like this. And then like this. Yep, that, okay, and that will be, that'll get our walls in. Okay, or we could move that one over here. Save ourselves a belt there. Okay, so this, we've got these. This will be our gray science. Okay, and there, let's just hook up the power then. And that is going to output, we've already established that that's gonna output right here. So we'll take the output lane. Um, let's, we should be able to do it like right here. And this way, oops. Like this. Okay. So there's our gray science output. Sorry about that. All right, what? A lot of extra clicking going on. There we go. That one and that one, sure. Okay, and then we'll just do inputs like this. Might as well put those in while we're thinking about it. And then this will be grenades and, um, Firearms magazines. Okay, so as far as piercing bullets, let's do, let's actually do bullets over here only because we want to have some for ourselves. So we'll do, let's do two of these. Yeah, let's do two of these for bullets regular firearms magazines which will take the the iron in this way no let's take the iron in this way um and as a matter of fact let's do a little something here let's put iron and coal onto the same belt right here we'll do um yeah we can do iron and coal on the same belt so if we do this here and we put steel going to the left. Yep, that's fine. Actually, let's bring it down here. We want to have the steel come across this way. So we'll do that again. Do steel on the left. Okay, so then this will come in like this, and the steel will go this way. And we actually want it on the far side of the belt, so we're gonna go like this. And that way we can put the firearms magazines. Let's get a couple of fast inserters. And we'll go ahead and put our power poles in here. Like this. And we'll put our f waiting for fast inserters. Here we go. Put our uh, magazines on there. And then this will be iron here. And coal. Yep, because we can do this. How do we want to do this? 
it could go like this. Iron and coal, there we go. That gets our bullets on there. Okay, and then... So now we have steel, copper, iron. We have everything we need now for uh, our military science right here all together. All right, so then the next thing is we'll do our... Oh, man, I need more assembly machines again. I'm going to need a lot of these. Let me get some more iron plates here. Nope. Oh. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to end up with a lot of stuff that I don't really want. But... That's okay. I'll just unload when we get done with this operation. All right. And okay. So we want to do, uh, we should be able to do six of these, um, uh, firearm magazines or piercing round, six piercing round assemblers here. Okay, we take this over here. Okay, this is going to actually work out really well. This is going to be piercing rounds. We're going to take these. We don't need fast inserters here. And we're going to do, we're going to take this thing across here. And then we're going to do, we're going to leave a space right here for our outputs. Um, and the last thing we need, oh, we need the coal or the, we need the copper. Um, okay. We need the copper for that. <clears throat> okay. No problem. We'll take the copper. We're going to do something a little crazy. We're going to do this right here for the copper. All right. And then now do we have these? Yes. We'll do firearms magazines here. So that's everything we need there. Now we need, um, the only thing we need is, yep, that's fine. So we're going to do. So this is coming this way and we need, basically we can do this. All right. And here's what we do. Oops. We take, okay. I'm going to need another power pole at each location, like right there and right there. That's fine. I don't care about that. So we're going to take an in like that and we're going to do an out like that. In and out. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll do the same thing here. For this one, we'll go like here to there. And then there. There. Okay. And then we do exactly the same thing. We take this in, in, out, out. Okay. In, in, out, out. Okay. And then let's grab a few more, make sure we have more inserters and yeah, we should be good. And now somebody might say, why didn't you put the copper on the inside track? Well, uh, yeah, I could have, I didn't think of it fast enough. That's okay. Uh, and now we're going to do exactly the same thing over here. I think I'm going to do a test run right here. Make sure this works. If we do grenades here, then we want to do in and out. Yeah. Okay. That works. So we just do this right here. Oh no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Not thinking straight. We want to do think about it again we want to do this takes those in and then out okay so yeah all right here we go 
I think it's like this is what I want to do. I think that's what I want to do. And then can I tighten that up a little bit? We'll find out in a second. So we do this and this. I think I can tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, let's, we can actually bring this over one and over one. There and there. And there. And there, okay. And then it's in, out, in and out. Okay, there we go, like that, that. And we don't have power. We need power right there. Okay, now. There we go. And we have low power. Probably because we're using too much power. Uh, or. Or because we're out of coal. Why are we out of coal? Well, that's an issue that we need to address. We need more iron plates again. We need a lot more iron plates here. Okay, we're out of coal because our, we didn't put enough mining machines over there. Okay, so we'll take care of that. Get across. I mean, I can put some, all this coal in these, in these boilers, but it's only going to work until that runs out, but that's fine. We should have it fixed in just a second or two. Yeah, we just, we just don't have enough mining machines here. That's all it is. We can fix that real quick. Get one there and one there. Okay, and then we'll do this. Missed. There, there, there. Okay, and Put that out there. Power poles, please. And one more. Okay, let's get this all tied in. Now, is it a matter of, yeah, we have, the other issue is that we just don't have enough our production so let's work on that before we do much of anything else let's get uh this we'll fix it we'll fix it at uh both issues of failure here simultaneously that being the uh supply of coal and also the amount of power that we can generate they're both in need of work so we'll do we'll do both at once get this ready for more okay we have a couple more all right that should be good for now all right, now we'll have to go and get more boilers and steam engines, which means we need a lot more iron plates. Let's see, we need, we can do one more boiler here, one steam engine, and then we need more iron plates. And then we can talk about how we're gonna get more um, boilers and steam engines on the other side there. Probably need a couple of pipes also. I'm gonna grab these bullets. Might as well pick this thing up actually. We don't need this anymore. 
Also, we have stone miners that we can reposition. Like that. Okay. There and there. Okay. Good. Power poles. We one here. Okay, that takes care of the stone. Make sure that we're good on stone. And we need... Well, that fits perfectly. We need a pipe. And did I make a steam engine? I did. Okay, we have to move this power pole. Get you in. And add that. Okay. Okay, everything is back except for this one pipe. There. Okay. And we need one more inserter. Okay, and then we can talk about our next... Our next power plant expansion. Uh, it seems like... We could do something... Let's make uh, some more boilers here. Let's make four more. How many do we have? Two, three, four, five boilers. Let's make five more. And then we can make 10 steam engines. And a few pipes. Like... All right, and let me grab some more iron because I think I'm gonna need a few more things. Like I know I need some more inserters. And we'll... Yeah, we'll grab some more iron from here. Grab some more belt also. Okay, and other than that, we're looking okay. And we're gonna do... We're gonna do this a little different here. We're gonna do something like... Uh, this. That's four, and the fifth one goes right there. I'm gonna reroute you a bit, like right there. Okay, and then pipe-wise, we're waiting for pipes. So we're gonna do a pipe there, and that's the only pipe we need, and then we're gonna do an underground pipe. Just kind of laying this out so that I can put it together quickly once we get it all done, and then we'll do here. Okay, and then we're just going to take all of this. We're going to need more pipes. Maybe a couple undergrounds too. Okay, and then... So we're starting to have some of the stuff that we need, so we'll go ahead and place the stuff that we have. We have this pipe. Yep, do we have this? Nope, not yet. Okay. Uh, what do we have? We have 10 pipes. Let's take these pipes and do this. Okay, we didn't have all that we needed. There's our undergrounds. Okay, now we have steam and... Alright, so then we can... Let's move you. Move these over here like this. there okay and then we can take our steam engines here we go one two and pipes like that and then there We're just going to cram these in here, sort of, a little bit into this tight space. And we need that pipe like that. Okay, and then we can just add the rest of our steam engines. We have six more. 
we can do three there and let's do three more here like that okay and that should take care of that and we still have room to get our copper mine in so that's just fine so there's our power fixed then we can go back to our military science production see where we left off over here i kind of forgot by now it's been a while i think we were really close though uh, yes we were we just had to actually if we hook if we connect this we will have some military science underway um, and then it's just a matter of adding inserters that okay all the way down to here and we'll add our underground belts there we go not that one okay and what do we need i think we have everything we need to finish this up we just have to do another a uh, couple of grenade makers here and then we'll just start boxing up some of these items for personal use uh, i want to have as many grenades as i can get here so we're just going to build grenades until we run completely out of materials so let's see we do how does that go that goes we leave a like this yeah okay and then it's it's uh that and that that and that and power pole there okay then we do the same thing again one there and one there okay and then there okay and then we don't need the copper to continue any farther actually we don't even need this one to be truthful we don't need that one we could do this like that okay that is the end that and then we are going to make more grenades then we'll just bring this over here and just make some more grenades the easy way which would be sort of like this am i out i'm out of assembly machines of course okay let's grab let's make a couple of purple inserters Yeah, and we're going to have a box, a couple of chests right here for personal use. Because we are going to need these things. All right, now we just have to wait for our hand crafting to catch up. And also, let's see, do we have... We have a bunch of bullets here that we can throw into these assembly machines. We have a bunch of coal we can throw into these assembly machines. What else do we have? Some copper. Well, no, we don't even throw copper away. That is about all that we can get rid of. Okay, so our, our uh, crafting is done, so we can do this. Let's get, okay, the four. I guess that's all we have, so we'll just do the four. And hopefully these power poles will be enough. And all we need is an output lane like this. And I guess we can cut this off right here. 
And yeah, we should be okay. This. Oh, you rat dog. We need one more. And that's only because of the power pole situation. So you'll go there, 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 and there. Okay. That'll get us grenades. And we, it looks like we have plenty of stuff going on. All right, so let's get our excess bullets and grenades pulled out here. And grenades wise, let's probably two stacks is going to be plenty. Maybe three stacks is enough. Uh, but as far as red ammo goes, we'll take, we'll take as much as we can get because we're going to have to go on the offensive um visiting our neighbors fairly soon i think okay so this end of the island is secure and we've got everything working according to our plan all right which means we kind of take a minute to assess our situation uh copper wise we have plenty of copper to do everything that we're doing Walls are a bit on the slow side. Why? Why are walls on the slow side? Um, mostly because maybe of this inserter right here. Yeah, we could actually speed this up a bit by moving this power pole over to here, adding that and that. Okay, now our walls are working at full speed. That's fine. All right, so let's kind of just take an assessment of everything we have going on here. And let's upgrade Let's see. Let's upgrade what we can. For one thing we want is maybe a few. Oops, wrong thing again. A few green circuits and a chest would be kind of nice. We'll get a stack. We'll just take them from there. What else can we take? Uh, we have bullets, yep, walls. We can actually... Well, we have a chest, technically we'll have a chest, oh, a chest of walls at the, at the source over there, so technically, once that gets caught up. So we'll let that get caught up, which I believe it will, now that it's running at a faster pace. Um, here... These are running pretty much as fast as they can. Okay, coal is a limiting factor on grenades, but it looks like we're just about right. As far as capacity, the coal is making it right to the end and then being devoured. So that's about right. Um, we're using up everything. The only thing we're really not consuming is the copper and the steel. Everything else we're... We're pretty much consuming to capacity. All right. That's good to know. Gives us an idea how to plan for our future. Now let's take a look at mining machines and our, our future needs. Okay, let's take a look at them. Well, well, hold on. Before we do that, let's build a couple of radars. Let me grab some more iron. Yeah, because our iron is getting smothered out. Um, and that may be an issue of... It looks like it is an issue of mining machines. It is. Yeah, we need more mining machines on iron. Let's take care of that. We have two. We'll make more iron. More 
iron mining machines. Probably our priority right now. Um, we can take a bunch of iron off here because we're not using the steel so much. Six. Basically, we need... How many do we have? 33? 33 is actually about the right number. That would, would meet our demand. Or at least our capacity for smelting. Get rid of you. Any more? Oh, okay. That's the issue. We've got a bunch that aren't producing anything. Alright, so we'll reassess. You could go right here and do a direct deposit. Uh, you are not doing anything. Okay, let's um, have nine more. Okay, that's all good. There's a quicker way to do this, which is to do this. And... I used to not be a fan of this particular binding strategy, which is using the undergrounds like this. Um, because I felt it was wasteful of iron, but it... It's not wasteful if you if you have the iron to spare and it's a little bit more dense it's just a little bit more dense than doing the method where you put the mining machines um here and the power poles here you can see that it's a little bit more dense because you don't lose this base between the mining machines and that little bit of density can make a difference I mean I think density always makes a difference to be honest um, denser mining is better mining uh, you might as well use the entire patch okay so those that all ends up on one side of the belt so we need to do a little bit of a balancer here so that we get it all use the entire belt and that should Take care of us because we have now we have 39 miners which is nine more than we need for a full belt so we're putting out full belt of iron ore and we are smelting let's see how many we have we have 56 yeah so we're yeah we're smelting more than we're actually delivering which is fine, because we need to expand this whole situation anyway. Um, and we have capacity for, for the future there. Okay. All right. So power. Oh, yeah. And I need to make radar. I still can't make radars. Why not? Because I have no iron. Because I spent it all making more iron. The way that goes. So we're going to take all of this iron off of here. And make a couple of radars. Okay, and then we can think about our future. Um, part of that future is finding more iron. Because we are at 234,000 iron. 415,000 coal. We're good on coal, actually. I think we're, we're very good on coal. We do need iron and copper and stone is not an immediate concern, but it is something that we need to think about. Now, I do know from our map preview that the oil on this map is down 
at the far edge of this island. As you may recall from episode one, it's down in, I want to say, I think this loops around and it's like right here, maybe oil, I believe. Um, as far as other resources, I do not remember where they are. I might have to go back to look at episode one again and take a look at the preview map. See if I can spot some more resources. Otherwise, we're going to have to go hiking around looking for stuff. And um, I believe that if we get another radar here, we should have most of our base covered except for except for this um this little wing over here which we'll cover right now which will be oh we can throw this one up right here this will be fine okay now we have radar coverage and we can start that will start exploring the map a bit Okay, so in order to explore the map, let's... I don't think a vehicle is the right decision here, at least not a car. Just because it's so narrow, there's cliffs, there's water. I think we're just going to go out on foot. So let's, uh, let's do a couple things. First of all, let's empty our pockets of all the unnecessary chattel that we have. Okay, so we don't need this wood or coal. Uh, we'll take the walls. Um, yeah, we didn't do too bad. All right, so we'll grab some grenades and some bullets. Maybe a few turrets might be a good idea. Oh yeah, look at all the bullets. Um, some grenades, yeah, we'll take all those. We have some walls. We have, what is this? We have light armor, let's make a heavy armor. I wish there was a way to dispose of this junk armor, or at least recycle it. Okay. So our future is, uh, requires oil. So we'll have to go see if we can secure the oil deposit. So we're going to have to make our way, where's our armor? And let's grab a few fish. The pollution is starting to ruin the waters. I guess we don't need water to drink. I guess that's fortunate for us. Um, either that or we have some kind of water purification that's not mentioned in factorio lore story line maybe i don't know i think it it might be in some of the expansions or the uh, mods um okay so let's go see what's out there here's a little trick for you you can use your decon planner to make a temporary hole in your wall and walk through it I'm still not sure exactly how the biters see that, if they see it as deconstructed or not, I do not know for sure. It's an interesting question that I'd like the answer to. If you know the answer, let me know. Um, all right, we're gonna make our way through these trees. We're gonna be a little bit on the careful side. And let's see, where are you guys? I know you're out there. This is pretty dense. I don't want to kill all the trees necessarily. I know that's a shock to hear me say it, but they are actually helping us, protecting us in a bit. From the biters. Oh, I see oil. Okay, I see oil. Good. 
And are there biters? I know there's got to be biters around here. Let's see where the next biter is. Wow. Unbelievably, we're safe here. I'm surprised they haven't expanded more onto this onto this island. And this looks like a dead end. Wow. I could have sworn I saw biters already existing on this on this island when we started the map. Let's take one more look at that. Is that really safe? Okay, well, that is kind of good news, guys. That is really... Actually, really good news. Um, so... I could have swore there were biters on this island from the preview. Very interesting. Okay, so the only biters that we have to worry about so far that I can tell are right here and they I don't see any evidence that they've made any attacks yet so we can prepare ourselves for um, forward motion here with uh, gathering oil so I think we're gonna end the episode right here we'll pick it up next time we'll start right here um, gathering oil and let me see can we craft oh we don't have the ability to gather oil yet uh, so never mind, we'll make our way back to the base and make preparations for gathering oil. So we'll pick it up next time, guys. We'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And hopefully you'll continue to tune in as we try to... Okay, I'm going to have to cut my way through these trees. Try to beat Factorio without coal. Um, of course, we overcame the initial hazard of not having any coal in our starting patch. Uh, but now we're just uh, dealing with some fairly limited resources. Uh, these are death world settings, so the biters are going to be angry when we get when we do make contact with them. We got really fortunate there in that they are not uh, by the oil as I thought they were. But anyway, we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. Just trying to navigate through these trees. They're driving me crazy a little bit. Here we go.